Fines over garbage for some Utahns starting the spring. If your trash can is open, if it's open during pickup, you can expect to pay more. That's right, Ariel Harrison in Riverton tonight. And Ariel, why and what are people there telling you? Well, there's a flyer making its way around Riverton right now that essentially says if your trash can lid is up, expect a $5 fine soon. Waste management, the trash company, says this is to promote cleaner communities. However, two residents I spoke with today say they not only need more information about this, but they have lots of questions. A new garbage pickup program is rolling out in Riverton. I've got two bins, so that's $10 a week. One that longtime community member Mandy Nyber has questions about. I guess $40 extra a month. I mean, that almost doubles my garbage. This is the flyer from waste management. Simply put, if your garbage or recycling bins are overfilled, you'll be fined. They're saying if it's lifted at all or if it's completely so at all, meaning we cannot overflow it at all. That's my understanding. Oh, OK. Heather Jepson has five bins between garbage and recycling. Like Niber, she worries costs could easily add up. A lot of other people were like, well, the wind blows it open anyway, so I don't know how they're going to enforce it. We asked waste management about that scenario. In a statement, a spokeswoman said bins need to be closed properly and... In the rare event that wind does cause a container to open and it's flagged as an overage, our protocol ensures that all incidents undergo review. So every week I have to call and fight if my lid blows open. That's a lot of extra work. Work and time both women already feel anxious about, leaving them wondering about other options. Getting another trash can would be a lot cheaper than but you have Storm. The mayor said that these guys are the cheapest or, you know, the most cost effective. A few dollars more a month rather than $40 a month in fines would be more of a, a value, in my opinion. Now, I want to mention that I reached out to both the city and waste management to speak with them in person for interviews. Neither would agree, and the city, in fact, declined. The spokesperson told me for the city that they didn't feel this was an issue. Also, that it wasn't worth their time to talk about it on camera. When I mentioned that to residents, they fired back to that remark, saying, well, if we're being fined, it should be. That being said, the city said it has reviewed this policy with waste management and does feel that it will be enforced reasonably. They also added if residents are worried about bins filling up, that they can purchase an additional bin by contacting the city. Reporting live in Riverton, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.